this is the way I back up my hard drive in this case it's the M SATA SSD out of my Midbox Mini which is attached to my main computer with an M SATA to SATA converter card that cost me about seven dollars on eBay and as you can see I've got a 120 gigabyte disk M SATA in my Midbox Mini which is obviously now in in the uh, converter card inside my computer this is um, disks, the utility disk, GNOME disk utility and then you can see I've got Zorin and Manjaro installed on it just click the more actions button up here and go create disk image give it a name, in this case MBM Mintbox Mini tells me where the image come from Zorin 9, Manjaro 1512 tells me what's on it and then a little description here, it's all good because there's, there's no problems I'm aware of with that operating those operating systems with that whole disk that system's all good at the moment and I'm saving it to this disk images folder on my 2 terabyte hard drive which is inside the same machine I have also done this with um, with a what do you call them, a, a boot disk, a um, the name eludes me uh, a USB um, you know installer stick with um, you know Ubuntu or Mint or whatever on it uh, the only thing I've noticed I'll just cancel it when I've used the live medium is uh, I've had problems obviously you've got to go back to a a drive you can get access somewhere to, so access uh, authentication permissions on a drive somewhere has been one problem I've encountered and the other is sometimes it's actually accessing the, um, the swap in this case it's not, but if I click on this is the drive the operating system's running from here you can see that the swap is, I click on there, it is active and I think clicking on that little star there will deactivate it so if you've booted up off a, a live Ubuntu stick something like that or CD, DVD it may actually still the live session may still try and access your swap petition on, on the actual drive that you're trying to image and obviously it's going to encounter problems there so yeah you just need to click on I'm pretty sure it's that little star there that says deactivate swap and have permission to write to the drive and folder and so forth that you're going to write to and you should be good but anyway this is pretty straightforward um, select the disk that I'm going to image which is this one more actions create disk image give it the name so forth I think I explained all that before and just go start creating put in your password click authenticate and there we go in 30 or 40 minutes that's going to be cooked and ready to eat basically so I hope you found that helpful